Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I wanted to do a very quick kind of everyday makeup look for um, this is the makeup look that I tend to do when I'm not feeling too great or if I'm in a rush and don't have a lot of time to put on makeup. I'm not really feeling too well today but I really wanted to put on a little bit of makeup just to kind of make myself feel a little bit better. So if you want to see how I got this makeup then please keep watching. So as I would have already mentioned in the intro, I'm not really feeling too great today but I really wanted to put some makeup on just because I feel like my skin is just not looking good. It, I don't feel very good, my skin feels very like dry and dehydrated and I've got a couple of breakouts and yeah, I'm just not feeling 100% today. I also have a tiny bit of staining on my eyes from where I used the P. Louise palette and P. Louise base from my last video. So yeah, I just wanted to do like a quick, to me this is a very going to be a very basic face, it's going to be mainly focused on my skin and it's the makeup that I kind of do when I just want to have a bit of makeup on and kind of maybe hide the fact that I'm not feeling 100%. So I'm going to take some of the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer, um, I've been using this a lot recently and I do really really like it. I like to take it on a sort of round kabuki brush and just kind of focus it more on my kind of cheeks um my chin and a bit on my nose as well it is a very 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 like luminous product so i pretty much put it everywhere to be honest i'm then going to take some of my poreless putty primer which is again by elf and as you can see i've pretty much used the whole thing but i do really need to pick up a new one because I'm literally having to scrape it out and I'm just going to pop some just kind of on and around my nose. In the summer I feel like this product is going to be something that I use a lot to help my um, my base stay really kind of not matte but just help kind of keep any shine at bay and I feel like it really smooths out my skin so that if I use a foundation that wasn't as full coverage I would feel a lot more confident using it just because of how much it kind of smooths out the texture of my skin I'm going to take a dry um, Morphe sponge and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of my L'Oreal Shake and Glow um, I've just found that I actually prefer using the sponge dry in all honesty I find that I get much better coverage and finished and I'm going to take one pump of my Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation this is in the shade 10 ivory it is a little bit too dark for me but I want my skin to not be as kind of pale as it is right now um, but I'm not using like a huge amount so I just kind of dot it all over my face with the sponge so that when I go ahead and start blending it in I will blend it down on my neck as well it's not it's probably only a couple of shades too dark for me, but once I've sort of got everything else on, it is, it's fine. I bring it down on my neck. To be honest, I find it really, really difficult to get foundations that match me perfectly, and I also like to fake tan a lot. I haven't fake tanned in quite some time, so I feel like whenever I am, whenever I just do one kind of round effect tan that this is the perfect match for me because I don't tend to go too dark with my fake tan not like I used to. So on days when I'm not feeling a hundred percent I really like to put on quite a sheer layer of foundation and then use concealer and cream contouring to kind of build up the coverage and just give me more colour because I find that it if I don't feel well I don't want this real thick heavy layer of foundation on so it's evened out like my general skin tone but I can still see like my natural skin shining through I've got a lot of texture on my skin at the moment and I think that's down to quite a lot of things right now so I'm going to take some of my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and in any areas that I feel like I've got some like redness poking through or I just want a little bit more coverage I'm just going to dot some of this concealer on the next thing I'm going to do is conceal around my eyes I'm going to use some of the elf camo concealer this is in the colour light 
light sand so it's quite a bit lighter than my foundation I do really 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 like this concealer I think it's got really nice coverage so I'm going to blend this out and I'm going to bring it all the way up onto my eye and then I'm going to take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette this is in light medium and I'm going to take some of just a very small amount of the contour colour um, I like to always like kind of spritz my cream contours with a little bit of setting spray just to make them a little bit more like wet and manageable um, I don't cream contour that much but on a day like today where I'm really focusing on like my skin I just feel like it adds just a very small amount of warmth so I'm not like brushing on a really heavy amount and then blending it out with a sponge I am just taking a very small amount on my brush and just using that just to give me a little bit of colour just so I feel like I've got more of a kind of perfected skin um, and I only really do this on my kind of cheekbones I don't really tend to contour my forehead that much the smallest amount really does make a difference and I just take what is overs on the brush and just kind of brush a little bit onto the sides of my nose like I don't want to really strongly contour my nose but so I'm just gonna set everything in place now I'm gonna take a little bit of my Fenty Beauty powder And then I'm going to take some of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder in 105 Natural Ivory just on this Real Techniques brush just to sort of set the rest of my base. Then I'm going to take some of my Maybelline City Bronzer. This is in Medium Warm 250 just on a small-ish kind of face brush. I'm not going to contour. Um, I just want to bronze because I feel like I did the kind of more cream contouring or cream bronzing. I don't want too much on my face. Then the next thing I'm going to do is highlight. Um, I've just picked out the first one that I saw. This is the MAC Double Gleam Highlighter. I actually really, really, really like this highlighter. I do also have Oh Darling as well, which is quite a kind of popular one but I always feel like highlighter always makes your skin just look so much better and this is a really nice um it's a really nice like not I wouldn't say subtle highlighter but it's a real nice kind of almost natural looking highlighter like it just really melts into your skin I actually wore this on my wedding day and I just feel like anytime there was pictures and my highlight was kind of picked up it didn't look too sort of in your face so I feel like you can kind of buff it in a bit more that's the thing you can buff it in a bit more than with a lot of other highlighters a lot of other highlighters I tend to find either like like you just get glitter all over your face or you kind of it kind of almost blends into nothing whereas with this one I feel like the more you kind of blend it the nicer it looks I mean you can see it on my nose kind of how light it is. I like to do my bronzer then my highlighter and then put some blusher in between. Um, I'm going to use a mixture of Dandelion and Coralista. This is in a cheeky camper um, little palette that was like, I think it was, it was significant, it was a lot cheaper than what it was supposed to be. Um, so I think I got it for like £17 which considering how much like benefit cheek products are that is quite inexpensive and I just feel like these two mixed in together um, is just the perfect colour for me and it just kind of blends your highlighter and your bronzer all together. So that's like the skin done so now I'm going to take some of my L'Oreal Shape and Glow spray just whilst that is drying off I'm going to quickly put some eyeshadow onto my eyebrows I have my I have my eyebrows microbladed so to be honest I can get away with not really doing anything to them I only got them done twice I could have got them done for a third time because my sister does them um, and I probably will get them done again I'm not gonna be able to get them done for 
a little while so I just like to take just a little bit of eyeshadow I'm just using MAC cork just because I find that that's the perfect colour and I wear makeup near enough every day because I wear makeup for work so I'm constantly washing my face so I just feel like mostly the ends have kind of faded a little bit and up here and then just to give my eyes just a little bit of like life and a little bit of shape I'm going to use my um, Maybelline City Bronzer on a fluffy brush this was a Morphe brush from a set I think it was like all of the all of the lights set it was only I think like £10 at the time it was like half price and it's a really nice brush so I'm just going to take some of that and I'm just going to buff it right into my crease I really do not want anything that's too obvious just like that just a very subtle subtle amount of colour and then I'm going to take a, another brush which was actually also in the same set and just take some of that bronzer and just kind of connect it up underneath my eye just again just to give I suppose a little bit of depth I'm really sorry if you can hear my washing machine it is spinning and it is potentially a bit loud so just like that it's not it's not added a whole amount but it looks like I've made a little bit of effort and then I'm going to take a flat eyeshadow brush with my highlighter that I use and I'm just going to pop some of this all over my lid. This is a really, really nice highlighter to use as an eyeshadow. It just is really like almost wet looking. And then I'm going to take my Peaches and Cream PC31 brush and I'm just going to pop this on the inner corner of my eyes just to help kind of open up my eyes and this isn't something I normally do unless I'm not wearing a lot of makeup but I'm also going to pop some of this under my brow bone I really don't tend to do like brow bone highlight anymore just like that so very quick very simple and easy and then I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some of the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara I do tend to find that I get little dots under my eyes, so I, I just leave it to dry and then I can just kind of brush it away with a spoolie. Um, but it just kind of finishes off the look. The makeup that I tend to do if I'm not feeling too great or if I'm in a rush or, you know, anything like that really, or I just don't really fancy putting on a lot of makeup. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you want to see more kind of natural looks or more dramatic looks like my last video. Um, I'd be happy to kind of try and do both. I feel like I want to do with Ella, every single eyeshadow palette I've got do like one really dramatic and one really natural look just to show you like what you can do with your palette. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.